In this video, you will learn how to add error bar on the basis of standard deviation in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have the data about the effect of storage days on the vitamin D retention. And I have repeated this experiment three times. Firstly, I have calculated the mean values and I have generated bar graph using these mean values. Later on, I have inserted error bar on the basis of standard deviation that was calculated using this data. These error bars are very dynamic. If you make any change in your experimental values or data, then this change will be reflected in your error bar. For example, in this case, I want to change this value to 94. Press enter. Now you can see here the mean values as well as standard deviation values are changed now. And this change is reflected in our bar graph as well as the error bars. If I change back to 84, Press enter. Now you can see here mean values as well as standard deviation values are changed and this change is also reflected in our bar chart as well as error bars. So if you have make any mistake while entering the data, you can correct this one later on. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will calculate the mean values as well as standard deviation values. To calculate the mean values, firstly select the cell where you want to display the result. Put equal sign. Write average. You can see here average option appeared here. Double click on it. After that, select the range of cell. I want to calculate the mean of these three values. After selecting the range of cell, close the bracket and press enter. Now you can see here we have successfully calculated the mean values. Select the cell, place your cursor on the corner. When plus sign appear, drag it down. You don't need to apply this formula on individual rows. Now we will calculate standard deviation. Select the cell where you want to display the result. Put equal sign. Write ST. DEV and double click on this option STDEVA. After that, select the range of cell. I want to calculate the standard deviation of these three values trial 1, trial 2, and trial 3. After that, close the parenthesis and press enter. Now you can see here we have successfully calculated the standard deviation values. Select the cell where you have already applied the formula. Place your cursor on the corner and when plus sign appear, drag it down to apply this formula for remaining rows. Now you can see here we have successfully calculated the mean values as well as standard deviation values. Now we will generate a bar graph using storage days and mean values. Select storage days. Press control key and select mean values. Now you can see here we have selected both these columns. After that go to insert option. And here you will find the option of insert column or bar chart. Select this one. And from here I will choose clustered column chart. Currently you can see here Microsoft Excel displays the storage values as y axis values. Because Microsoft Excel recognizes these as y axis values. If you have experienced this problem, select the storage data. Now you can see here whole data series is selected and press the escape button to delete these. After that click on this chart area, right click here you will find the option of select data, select this one. And from here you will find two pen, go to horizontal axis labels and here you will find the option of edit. From here I will choose storage days. Click on OK. Again on OK. Now you can see here we have successfully generated this bar graph. If you are experienced difficulties by selecting both these columns, you can also do a simple trick. Simply select this data, copy this, and paste it here. Similarly, select mean values. Copy this, select this cell, right click and you will paste this data as values. Currently you can see here values option appeared here, click on it. 
After that, you can simply select both these column data. Go to insert tab. And from here, you can easily generate a column or bar chart. And if you are experiencing this problem, you can resolve this problem as I earlier explained. I will place it here. If you are interested to conditionally format this graph like this one, then separate video tutorials are available on our channel. In this video, I will only focus how to insert error bar and how to conditionally format these error bars. Firstly, select this data series, click on any bar and the whole data series will be selected and it is indicated by these small circles. After doing that, here you will find the option of chart design tab, click on it. And at the corner, you will find the option of add chart element, select this option and you will find multiple options. From here, choose error bars and you will observe multiple option at the end you will find the option of more error bar option choose this one now from here you will find different option first option is direction i will select both in end style i will select cap and scroll down in error amount i will choose custom and here you will find the option of specify value Select this one. Now you will find two options positive error values and negative error values. Firstly, in positive error values, click here and remove existing data. Now select standard deviation values. Similarly, in negative error values, click here, remove the existing data, and select again standard deviation values. Click on OK. Now you can see here we have successfully inserted error bar on the basis of standard deviation. I will close this one. If you want to edit this error bar, click here. Right click. Here you will find the option of format error bar. Select this one. Go to fill and line option. And from here you can select solid line. You can choose the color of these error bars from this option. Additionally, you can also control the width of these error bar using width option. So by following this tutorial, you can easily insert error bar on the basis of standard deviation in Microsoft Excel bar or column chart. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.